I have never seen Attack on Titan. I have never seen Jujutsu Kasa. I've never seen Hunter x Hunter. Never saw One Punch Man. Never saw Mob Psycho, Black Clover, Tokyo Ghoul, and no, I have not seen My Hero Academia. Let's talk about anime. Now, the first thing I want to say is, do you guys want to see anime reactions from me? Because I've always kind of shied away from doing it because it's not even about like getting it monetized. It's, it's just about getting it on YouTube, period. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's just so hard to get these kind of reaction videos on YouTube and have them stay up there without getting taken down. So I've always wanted to do anime reactions, but I've always just kind of like put it off. But I'm thinking about finally, you know, putting one foot forward and actually trying to like do those now. And it's a mixture of things, right? It's, it's a guilty pleasure of just watching anime like it's my TV. You know what I mean? Like I just, I watch it when I'm out and about or at work or whatever. So, you know, I kind of just enjoy watching it on my own. But I, I would actually consider, especially some that I, you know, haven't seen yet to be on YouTube so you guys can see my reaction to it. Because there's a lot of things that I actually haven't watched. And that is what's going to shock you guys. Because you're going to look at me like I'm crazy. You're going to cringe. You're going to be like, are you even a real person? Are you ready? Here it goes. I have never seen Attack on Titan. I have never seen Jujutsu Kasen. I've never seen Hunter x Hunter. Never saw One Punch Man. Never saw Mob Psycho, Black Clover, Tokyo Ghoul, and no, I have not seen My Hero Academia. I think I watched the first episode, and then I was like, eh, I don't know if I like this. <laughs> now, hold on. The reason why I haven't watched these shows is because of a few reasons. You see, back then, have you ever had that experience of like, someone tells you, hey, you should watch this show and you go to watch the show and you see it has like 26 seasons, like it's Bleach or something, or like One Piece, the thousand episodes. You're not saying that it's bad or like you don't want to see it. It's just, they're so far gone already. You're like, man, I can't catch up with this. Like I'll be sitting here watching this forever. That's kind of, kind of how I felt back then. That's changed now, but back then that's why I didn't really start these shows. Cause I was like, gosh, if I started now, it's going to take forever. And now I realize half these shows don't even have that many seasons, to be honest. I mean, some of them do, but some don't. But the main reason is simply because I, like I said, I've always had the idea of doing anime reactions, right? Now, of course, at a certain time, you know, these were actually out way before I even considered, you know, doing YouTube. So I haven't got around to some just in general, but it actually took me a long while to kind of get into anime and really sit down and watch season after season after season because when i was little you had the classic you know dragon ball z and naruto and you know and those i did see right you know i kept watching even when i got older but especially in my high school years i just kind of kind of deviated away from anime and i thought it's kind of kind of sounds crazy right like during your high school years but i was so focused on you know, trying to socialize with, you know, actual students in high school and, you know, trying to focus on my grades because I wasn't doing so well, you know, academic wise. So I was just trying to focus on all that. And there's just no time to sit down and watch shows. I was either playing games or just trying to hurry up and scramble and do my work. So then I, there was a period in my life where I didn't really watch anime as much. And I also... When I started to watch it, I said, you know what? I could do reactions to this one day. So I kind of want to just not watch them yet on purpose. So that when I do do anime reactions, you guys can see me react to stuff like this. You know what I mean? And I know there's a bunch of new shows that have, that have been out now. But I do want to talk to you guys about it. And about what I do like, what I don't like, and what I'm most likely to watch. So here are all my animes listed here that I've watched and completed. This is MyAnimeList.com, and I've tried my absolute best to keep track of all the shows that I've actually watched. I may have missed one or two, but usually it's on my phone where I keep track of all of them, and on the website. So, first things first, Slice of Life. That's like my favorite kind of genre, and it's probably the reason why I haven't seen too many of the mainstream big ones that have come out, because I like to stay in this realm. Um, but I do like to jump around with genres a lot. So, a silent voice, uh, you know, a place for the, a place further than the universe, just super like you know emotional, uh, you know dramas, you know psychological, 
thrillers, comedies, music, like Boat to the Rock. So, you know, I, I've just seen a lot of these slice of life kind of ones. And it, there's some good action ones too in here. So like I, I've seen Chain Soldier. The ratings are on the left hand side and the shows on the left. Don't judge me too hard. All right. All right. Listen, my ratings are just how I felt after I watched it. So I may be a little inflated. I don't know. But yeah, love Chainsaw Man because it was something that was once again different for me because I'm over here watching, you know, three high schoolers run around the high school and cause a ruckus. You know what I mean? And then boom, I jumped to Chainsaw Man. So there's a lot of just like jumping around in different genres. Chivalry of a Failed Night. You know, you just kind of jump into these shows like, man, I didn't expect that, you know. But you can kind of see where I'm where I'm going here, you know. Love Demon Slayer, just a very simple story, nothing too complicated. It's very simple. If you've just seen the first episode of the show, you kind of get the idea of, you know, what's going to happen. Or not what's going to happen, but what he's going to try and do. And while this show doesn't necessarily explain what the enemies can do and whatnot, eventually they do in a way so it's really cool just to see what the next enemy is going to be able to do and how they're going to have to get through it so yeah i just love the simple the simplicity of that show you know and obviously the animation works really good and you have romances uh romantic ones like you know domestic girlfriend or some kind of uh <laughs> some kind of just affair or something crazy like that the classic like wholesome romances like nagatoro you know, and uh, don't call me crazy, but I just finished Fate Stay Night. And maybe I'll, I don't know if I should leave it at that, but I'm trying to catch up before Honkai Star L has their uh, collab with Ultimate Blade Works. So also let me know. That could be a thing that I watch on YouTube and watch with you guys. You can see my reaction to Blade Works, you know. Food Wars, I could only get to the first season. I don't think I could get to keep on watching it. Free run. I think, you know, you're going to be like, oh, here comes the glazing. But Free Run was just, it's just, it's a great watch. You know, it's a great watch. It's just a great watch. It's a show where it kind of caught me off guard, where I started watching it. And I actually thought it was boring, to be honest. When I started watching it, I was like, okay, all right. And I'm not going to say any spoilers, but, you know, I was just like, all right, that's kind of sad. You know what I mean? And I think the first four episodes were supposed to be some kind of, uh, like, movie? Or, like, all together in one, apparently. They're supposed to be, like, all in one. But apparently it was just split up between each episode. But, yeah, essentially it was a, it was a great show to watch because right off the bat, you know, not, not even any kind of spoiler, like, it's in the title of the show, it's beyond Journey's End. It's after everything is already over. You know what I mean? So it was already like a different approach of like, oh, we're starting the show when it's already over or what, you know? So, but once you keep on watching it, you kind of appreciate the amount of effort and the amount of like uh, respect they give time. Like for me personally, when Free Run's master, right here in the orange, when she says, I think it was her, or maybe it was what Free Run said her master said, but anywho, there was a quote that was like, don't worry about the past when you have the present. And that really resonated with me because it's something that, you know, I always think about like, what, what could I have done? Or if I did something better, or if I could have changed this and stuff like that. And that really actually, you know, resonated with me watching that show. So that show just really, it hits you, man. You know, it made you really think about time uh, based off of, uh, you know, how she has a super long lifespan. Anywho, you get the point. Free Run was awesome. It was great. It's a great watch. And it's great how they explain how things work too. That's always good. <laughs> yeah, and then I, there's like sometimes there's like these three minute or like five minute shows that I'll watch, but a lot of romances, a lot of slice of lives, you know, a lot of uh, etchy ones too. Girlfriend, girlfriend, gushing over magical girl. This one was wild. I did not expect this one to be like that. I thought it was going to be like a guy, like being a big fan of like heroes or something. I, it was, that was not the case. I mean, it, it kind of was, but it was a girl. And then, yeah, holy, man. I mean, I'll say in the last couple of years, this show right here, no spoilers, but this show, this is like in my top three 
that I've seen, like, uh, out of all. This show was ridiculous. Like, it, jumping into it, you're just like, okay, all right, all right, all right. You're trying to, like, understand, like, okay, right? And as you move along, there's still things that I'm figuring out about this show today. Like, like even months and months after I've seen it. You know what I mean? And I know for most people, they probably weren't seeing it like it was all that crazy. But I don't know. For me, the amount of layers that this show had was just ridiculous. Maybe I don't watch enough, you know, uh, what would you call it? What would you call it? I say like sci-fi mystery. Maybe I don't watch enough of these. Maybe I'm gassing it up. You know what I mean? I don't know. But but for me, watching something like this was just ridiculous. But it could it could be that I don't watch a lot of uh, sci-fi's and mystery kind of shows. That could be it. But yeah, just the layers and the brutality and the, the loss and you know what I mean. And the the, the different stories within it, the, the different stories within the same story. And how certain characters are other characters later. Like, yeah. God dang. And then towards the end, and like that doctor. Oh my god. It was such a good show with so many different twists and turns and roller coaster of emotions. And like, god dang, man. That was, that was like, if anything, this was the standout show for me, uh, especially in 2023. That was the standout show. And I think it did win anime of the year for, for some, some categories. But yeah, Heavenly Delusion will always be one that I recommend to people. If anybody says what's your favorite or if we have a recommendation, Heavenly Delusion. Could not recommend this even more. This was freaking crazy. Hell's Paradise, uh, just a great little action-packed show. It was. It's also by MAPPA. So they, you know, I watched that right after Chainsaw Man. So it was like, you know, kind of a comparison. Uh, what in the, okay. Yeah, oh, this one, yeah. This one was good too. Another slice of life kind of one. And yeah, I like how they didn't drop the reveal in this show until like almost close to the end. But very good show on that one too. You're kind of bewildered by the title, but trust me, um, yeah. There's just awesome protagonists there, yeah. That was a good show. The high school DXD era. Animation change in the middle of it. Um, action etchy for all the seasons. You know, that's one of those ones where if you watch it, you'll finish it, probably, you know, maybe, maybe you won't, maybe you will, but it's, uh, you know, there are actually some good parts in it. There was, uh, I want to say it was Born or Hero, where, like, you know, they're kind of, like, losing at a certain point, not to say too much, but it, it was cool to see, like, their, um, their insecurities and their, like, actual struggles of, like, man, we really may not pull this out, you know what I mean? But overall... I think you know why you're watching that show, but you know, there is a goal there and it's nice to just kind of sit back and watch stuff like, you know, this one where it's just a, a fun watch, an enjoyable watch, you know, kind of makes you look at yourself like, dang, man, I wish I could, you know, <laughs> be the protagonist, uh, Horiyama, you know, y you can see where we're going here. A lot of comedies, a lot of, uh, a lot of sets of lives. I was reincarnated as the seventh prince so I could take my time perfecting my magical ability. <laughs> that was a good show too. It's just, just a nice watch, you know. I liked how the title the title for once really, really meant what it said. I mean like quite literally without even saying anything. The title of this show is literally the show. There's just that that's it. You know what I mean? Didn't want to be anything more, didn't want to be anything less, didn't want to have a new career or anything like that just wanted to keep on perfecting his magic the whole way through and that's what it was about you know um and yeah and then yeah that's you know funny stuff like this more comedy stuff like that uh same people who did takagi-san oh is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon i'll be honest i thought this was gonna have one season and that was it you know i didn't even realize that it was just gonna keep on going and going and going but I'll say the entertainment district or the red light district or whatever. That was interesting, but I think it really got good when you got to like the ending ending. Because it was finally just like, hey, you're the main character and you can get hurt too. You know what I mean? Like you can, you can also take some risks here too. 
it felt like he was just like immortal or something throughout the whole season and the last one was like finally so yeah some newer ones like Kaiju number eight stuff just a great watch fun watch high stakes you know heart racing at some points Kamikatsu. Oh, yeah. That one's, yeah. Let me know if you've seen this one. This one's called Killing Bites. Sometimes I feel like even if something isn't all that great, you just gotta watch it through. And I do that a lot, you know? I actually do do kind of like like trash. I don't must call it like absolute trash, but you know what I mean? Like, you know, people say they like trash. It, you know, I'm not like trying to find these and scope these out, but if I end up watching it and I'm just like, okay, I'll kind of end up finishing it too. So, you know, I'm not always just ruling anything and everything out, but yeah, this was uh, that one quote, man, that one quote. Now for this one, long story short, way before Spectrum was Spectrum, it was called Time Warner Cable. And Time Warner Cable had what was called On Demand Channel. And they were usually in the channels above the thousands. There was a channel called G4 TV. And I think they also had anime on there as well. For some odd reason, they had stuff like this on there. Like, I, I kid you not. There was stuff like that. There was like this show on there. And I remember watching it when I was like way too young. Just innocently like, oh, what's this? And I remember being like, uh, I don't know if I should be <laughs> seeing this. But yeah, it was just, it was just on on demand which is one of the shows on demand and i was just like yeah i went back to just see like what on earth did i watch when i was younger but yeah i don't think that needs to be in seven that that was like i don't know how many years ago but i if you told me to tell you what happened in this show now i couldn't tell you no idea but i know it definitely was not something you should have been watching when you were younger um the comey can't communicate i enjoyed this one for the first season and a little bit in the next one but after a while it's just like yeah kona super kona super is great nothing much more to say about it. it's just great it's freaking funny like it's just it's just a great comedy it's just great just like a you know uh, it, it's a joke you know what i mean it's a joke they're all just funny they're all hilarious um you know you're always gonna laugh when you watch it and i feel like this was really in depth the uh I'm gonna say Mangu Kenki, Jesus. Megamine. Megamine's story was like very, it was a very good like little series before it actually started, you know? It was cool to see how it went into how she met, um, you know, Kazuma and stuff like that. So, just great, you know? I don't even know what that one is. Chinibio, that was a good one to watch, the seasons of, the, the movie, um, and Synapsis Shattered. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. No problems with that show. I enjoyed it all the way through. And it was kind of a, a real life comparison of like people growing up and being into their animes and being into their shows and being into their games and stuff like that. And uh, just, you know, not trying to accept too much of reality and kind of still have that uh, mentality of, I guess, being a kid, you know, despite your age. Licorice Recoil, that show was, that was unexpectedly good. I didn't, didn't think I was going to like that show, but, and a little brutal too, you know? That one scene with the freaking car rolling up on that girl, I was like, yo, like, I didn't, they went crazy. But, yeah, that show was pretty good though. I, I liked the characters, the characters were very likable on that show, and the twist with Chisato was, was interesting too. I didn't know that that was like her whole, or, her whole ordeal. This one is all right, yeah. You know, so you get the point, right? Miss Kobayashi to love Rue. Oh man, this and this is the thing too. I want to say I love to watch things. Like I like to binge watch things. So it's better for me if something has been out for a long time because I'll just watch all of it instead of it coming out one week and the next week and the week after that. You know what I mean? Like. I'll lose track of what happened. Not really. But what I'm saying is it's nice to just binge watch it and just be able to see the whole thing, you know? So that was awesome. To start that from the beginning and just go all the way through till the last season. Or not last season, but the last anime adaptation. That was awesome. Don't know how I feel about how that ended, though. I was like, uh, 
and then yeah i don't know i don't know just have darling fresh girls a gal this was great with gojo and the uh the dolls but this set nom's daughter is my ex oh yeah that one went way more wholesome than i thought it was going to yeah <laughs> the semi is annoying uh yeah picking the actual song was a banger there this show is one of those shows where like you just wish you were the main character once again naruto yeah do i even say anything it's naruto like you know flashbacks flashback galore no but seriously as a kid that was awesome you know as a kid it was it was it was like insane to watch naruto and, you know and it's not like it's bad it's just as you get older you kind of see more of the ups and downs of the show and stuff like that but there's a crap lot of episodes so but honestly i gotta give some credit to naruto like just in general i used to like make fun of and think it was kind of like boring when they would explain things but i gotta be honest like nowadays looking back on it when they explain stuff that's actually great and i think i was too young to appreciate that back then but now I kind of look back at this and, and I'm like, you know what? That was actually a good thing that they explained things because now I watch shows nowadays. I just finished um, the kingdom of the kingdoms of ruin. And it's just like, how are these guys coming out the woodworks with all these abilities? Like they just coming out the woodworks with just all this crazy stuff. And it's like, didn't it ever explain how you did that or where that comes from? Nope. Dude will just come out the blue with something crazy. And it's like, how, uh, you know, so I looking back on it, I actually do appreciate Naruto for explaining how, you know, the jutsu system and the chakra system and stuff like that work, because at least it gave you a little bit of an indication on what people were capable of doing. And I know it may suck to have to wait, you know, or when you had to wait each and every week for a new episode just for Naruto to barely learn something for that episode, you know what I mean? But I can't tell you how much I appreciate this now of seeing him actually learn this stuff and going through the journey with him. So when he's in a battle, and when his back is against the wall and he whips out some brand new move, it's not just a random brand new move. It's a move that you saw him learn over the course of a bunch of episodes. You've seen him train for that. So you feel like you know what's coming and you feel like you know what he's capable of doing because you saw him train for that, you know? Nowadays, you watch a show and it's like somebody will just take the moon with their hand and crush somebody with it. It's like, how did how did you do that? <laughs> like, where was the explanation there? You know, so that's that's a really important part. Even going back to the beginning with like the nine tail fox and that being sealed within him. It's like, you know, if he gets pissed, you know, if he loses somebody special to him or somebody gets hurt or if he just gets, you know, like things go haywire you know what's probably going to happen, right? And it, and it's not good because it's going to take control of him. So being there to see this stuff and to hear it be explained, we I may have kind of thought about it as a bad thing back then, but now I appreciate that so much. And even with the Sharingan and the Inazagi and, you know, actually just knowing what the heck is going on when someone does something, it's nice. And it was pretty freaking cool to see Sharingan evolve from just being sharp to literally like keeping somebody in the same loop of history forever you know like that really took a turn uh but i don't think i continued to watch baruto so i don't really have a recollection of that one but uh i did watch like pretty much almost everything that naruto had to offer so near automata great game uh yeah i i, I agree with this statement P play the game first <laughs> then watch it. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to, but like, yeah, I'd recommend playing the game first because it's, uh, you'll appreciate it a lot more if you play the game and then watch it. Yeah. I, I don't really get this one. People love this one. I Maybe I missed something. I don't know. I gotta go, maybe like rewatch it or something. This one, I don't really re remember really. Peter Grill. Peter Grill, uh, I'll be honest, watching it, I was like, why wouldn't this be on like you know a whole different website it just kind of seemed like yeah like, like like what i said you know it just kind of seemed like it was just cutting out those parts but it was trying to be one yeah i don't know prison school prison school was great that was <laughs> that was uh yeah there's not really much to say about that one in terms of just you just gotta watch it 
That was a wild. That was wild. Rail Wars. I don't remember. Uh, I know the red red haired girl was really mean most of the time, but yeah, I don't really recall that one. I know it was about trains. That's about it. This one was unexpected. Didn't think that was gonna be that sad. I was like, what the heck? Redo of healer. Now, uh, talking about Peter Grail, that this one does belong on the other websites. Let's just say that. Let's just say that. But. I'll say, yeah, in, in the beginning, it was like, God dang, like, they really, like, he, you wanted him to get revenge. I'll say that, at least. I, I can at least say that. You wanted him to get revenge, and you were happy when you when he got it. So, Rent a Girlfriend, great first season. Once it continued, I just watched it just because I already had watched the first and the second one. But, Yeah. First one was great, edge of your seat, and then the rest of it, yeah, like, I don't know, this doesn't even need to be seven, but I don't know. Sekirei, once again, this is one of those shows that were on Time Warner Cable when I was younger, and then went to rewatch it, and I was like, dang, wow, should not have seen that when I was younger. This one, I don't, I don't think I finished that one, even though it says it's finished. Arise. This was fun. This was, uh, super brutal as well. Which that that beginning sequence, I was like, ah, you know, it's just cool. Like if there if there was any anime that was gonna be a video game, it's that one. You know what I mean? Like a video game s kind of anime. Sonic X. This has uh, I think a hundred episodes or like ninety nine or something like that. But watched it growing up and uh, seen some episodes again when I got older, and um, I realized I was robbed. The for kids TV or TBS or whatever it's called. Oh my goodness, that was like, I was robbed. The Japanese version was like, I mean, obviously, right? But like, the Japanese version was, that made that show a whole different tone. Like Sonic curses in, in the Japanese version. But yeah, they robbed me of blind on the for kids TV one, man. And obviously it's for kids. So, you know, it's not gonna be cursing or, you know, Stuff like that, but yeah, it's a whole different ball game watching it in, in its original format. Spy Family, just fantastic. Fantastic. Apparently I didn't like the part two, I guess. Oh, okay, no, this this is not season two, this is part two. Yeah, part two, I must not have liked as much, it seems. This was the boat, Takagi-san was great. Uh, Tenpura. Yeah, this one was the one where the, the MC was actually, wait, yeah, yeah. The MC actually was like kind of different. 100 Girlfriends, man. That's one of those ones where you, you're just like, you lucky, you, <laughs> you know, like, oh, that was, that was fun. That was a fun watch. And they're doing uh, more seasons too, so. Funny story. I didn't know what apothecary meant. I'm dumb. Didn't know what apothecary meant. So I started watching the show and I was confused because I was like, why is every single episode about poison? Like, when are they going to move on to something else? You know what I mean? Like, what? And I was enjoying it, but I was just like, why is it always about poison? I'm so confused. And then I freaking Google apothecary and I'm like, oh, I see. And I know you laugh at me. I got to about episode 10 or 11 before I figured that out. So I was like, oh, I see. But mad respect for this kind of show. It was very different. And I'd, I'd give it a, a higher rating. But either way, yeah, it was a cool show. But it wasn't really my forte or my, uh, like to my liking as much. But I have a lot of respect for what they were trying to do with that show. But also, I'll say. Jinshi and Mau Mau. Oh, that like disgusted me. I did not want those two to ever get any closer. I was like, please no. So I'm glad that at least didn't happen. But good grief. I was just like, if that happens, I will hate this show. <laughs> no, not seriously. But I did not want that to happen so bad. I was like, please, God, no. But overall, like if you gave that show like a 10 or a 9 or something like that, I can I can totally see that. 
uh, cafe and it's goddess. I don't remember the characters. No, wait, no, 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 no. No, oh, sorry, no, this one's actually is pretty good. This one's, uh, yeah, it's about like um, the guy trying to keep the cafe going. But it is actually as well, though. But yeah, this one, the MC is like kind of kind of a Chad. So that, that one is good. I actually want to finish this one or the season two. Then is in my heart. Just a sweet, you know, sweet romance and super young romance, too. I think it's like 14 years old, I think. Grow up through time. That was interesting. So, yeah, Kingdom of Ruins or the Kingdom of Ruin. The show, the writing wasn't great for Kingdom of Ruin. But what this show did is it made brutality and loss and death and just fatality so normal to the point where like you kind of got used to it and you started to predict the unpredictable where every single shot of the show you were expecting someone to die like that that's what it did for me if somebody was smiling you were expecting like their head to explode in the next shot if somebody was walking down the street with their dog you just expected their head to slide off their shoulders or is somebody turned around to look at something you expected them to get shot or something like that like it just there was so much carnage in that show it was like you just expected people to die at every single second i was watching the last episode expecting for you know somebody to perish like i was just waiting i was like there's no way there's no way this show ends without somebody else dying you know what i mean so but it's a wild just a whole lot of death you know kind of show um and you'll be intrigued in the first episode the first couple episodes but yeah there's like a middle chunk in that show where it's just like what are we doing you know but yeah writing is kind of all over the place and once again it's it's one of those things where characters just kind of come out the woodworks with abilities and you're just like where that even come from like, I mean, dude, dude has a suit, but not him, but like somebody else has a suit where they just can do anything, apparently. Just like, what? So, yeah, it's kind of a wild, wild writing, but yeah. Quintessential quintuplets, once again, another romance. Uesugi did not deserve that. He really didn't. He, like, I did not like that main character. I just, he did not deserve all that, man. He really didn't. Um, and Miku was the best girl in that show, for sure. But I hated Uusugi. I was like, he just did not deserve any of that, man. I was like, bro. Seven Deadly Sins, I liked the first season, but then I saw like the 12,000 seasons below it, and I was like, oh my god, I don't know if I'm gonna watch all this. And supposedly it's not really liked by most people, but just know I stopped that season one. So. I haven't seen any of the rest of Seven, De Seven Deadly Sins. I don't know what the rest entails, but yeah, this show is wild. This belongs on a different website too. To Love Rue. It's one of those shows where like you watch one and it's like, all right, I guess I'll keep watching it. And then you watch the whole thing. But once again, kind of young when I watched that one. Tomo Chan is a girl. That This was a great one because the dynamic was cool. You know, it's like it was not too often you have like a situation like this. So it was cool to see that uh, transpire. This is actually pretty good too. Uh, Sukumono, Sukumomo. Freaking crazy uh, ending to that. Not to spoil anything, but God, dog. I was like, okay, well, <laughs> uh, good luck. Who's he wants to hang out? I will say I read the manga and uh, thumbs up. Thumbs up. You know, if anybody out of the group of these kind of shows, like Nakatoro and Uzuki, and, um, uh, you know, what's the other one? Yeah, Danger in My Heart with Yamada. Out of out of the, all those, you know, Dress Up Darling, out of all those kind of shows, I think Uzuki and Sakurai definitely won, at least in the upcoming seasons. Oh, I freaking love this show. This show was great. The show was great. That was great. That was like, it really resonated with me personally, because that's just how like I am sometimes in terms of like speaking and trying to be social. Like at this show was 
one of the realest shows I've ever seen. Like that, like it's just like they have the weirdness just down to a T. It's exactly how like introverts would be. Such a good show. They got more of the these kind of shows where they're like eight minutes long. Um, but yeah. You got your name. Ooh, that one really hit me hard, man. It was it was kind of way too dank, but you kind of you understood what was happening a little bit, but there was some dank moments where it's like, wait, what? But yeah, the freaking song sparkle, the you know the singing and the music matched with the with what happens. It's just like, woo! And the ending gives you goosebumps. It's one of those shows where like you never really hear the title of it until the end, and then when I say it, it's like, oh my god! So yeah. Clean show, comedic, and fun ride for a Zom 100 bucket list. Just a great show. Fun fun watch. Oshinoko. Um, hot take. I love the first episode. First, like, movie. And it is interesting to see what happens and, like, how things transpired in the rest of it. But I'm not jumping out of my seat to watch season two. I still haven't even started it yet. I'll say. I, I think it'll be cool to see what happens, but I feel like we kind of lost the thread. Or I feel like I kind of lost the thread in terms of like being excited for it. You know, I don't know. I'm sure it'll be great, but I just haven't been like jumping out of my seat to watch the next one. But yeah, so there's a little like, uh, you know, little 30 minute excerpt of like what I like to watch, what I like to see, what I have seen. Um, currently, uh, I'm not watching anything right now. This one actually has 24 episodes. I thought I had 12 or, or 13 rather. But right now, I think I'm going to watch The Elusive Samurai. I think I'm going to watch, um, I, I watched this already, but Elusive Samurai, something about I was in my 30s chilling and I got fired from the Demon King's army, something like that. Um, losing too many heroines, Shikanoka Noka Deer anime. Or whatever it's called. My dear friend Nokuto. I'm going to watch that one too. So yeah, I got some ones I'm going to watch in the future. But yeah, with that being said, let me know uh, later down the line if you do want to see me do anime reactions. You know, um, I will put a list of every single show that I actually have watched in the description below um, as well. And what you guys can do is you can go through the list in the description and you can see by process of elimination what I haven't watched. And then you can recommend what I would what you guys would want me to see so and I'll probably do the classic way of doing it so like you know do YouTube and then I'll also have a patreon to get that set up where you know I have the full thing without any of the editing stuff like that so yeah you can let me know and uh we'll go like one at a time maybe like two at a time and like have a you know specific day of release for for the shows and just kind of have it be a thing like on the side where you know like I do my anime reactions every Saturday or something like that. So let me know. Let me know uh, what is the, the show you want me to watch the most. And oh yeah, ReZero as well. I want to see that too. Fairy tale. But yeah, those are the ones that I've seen. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And let me know in the comments what you guys want me to see. And I will catch you guys in the next one.